Hey, this is Rich with a quick tutorial. This is going to be a mini tutorial brought to you by Adobe Elements, Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group, and let's jump right in. Uh, so somebody wanted to know how to make the wood slats stand out on this photo. So I'm going to turn off everything but the wood. I have two layers of wood here, remember. I got this original one, and I have this back piece. So to make the wood slats here that's underneath her head here look a little more prominent i put the flowers up to kind of hide these um, red marks here so as far as the wood slats are concerned to make them come up on top what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to these slats and i mean i'm going to simply copy uh, make a copy of that so i'm going to say duplicate layer and if i put that copy on top of a picture obviously what's going to happen is is her photo is going to be underneath so now this wood slats is taking over the whole space i'm going to turn this off everything else off and i'm going to simply take go to enhance lighting brightness and bring the contrast all the way up or bring the, the lightness up but i want to make these dark areas really stand out by using the contrast so that's what we do right there. Hit OK. This is on the copy. Now I'm going to get rid of everything except for anything that's really black. In the past, what I did was I made it, uh, changed it to white, and then used the magic tool. But what happens is the magic tool here, it's not picking up exactly what I want, and it's taking too much of other things that I don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to physically, with a tiny eraser, let's get like, I don't know, 10 point. This will take a little bit of time. And I'm going to erase, and I want to get, actually, I might want to change the black to white. So let's just do that temporarily. Change to white, so I know exactly what it is that I'm erasing here. And this takes quite a bit of work to do, but the outcome is totally worth it, I think. Okay, so basically what we did here was we drew out all the major slats. Now we're going to take the uh, polygon tool and get rid of everything else. So you can see what we did was all we left was all we're left with is the wood slats, and all we do is bring back um, her original picture, bring back the original wood. I'm going to uh, make the background back to black because everything is a little bit see-through, and this will bring the colors back to where I wanted it to be. And then we bring back the other piece of wood that's also part of this part of the look here. Bring the plants back. And now we have the secondary piece of wood that's behind the plants, but in front of the picture here. And if I zoom in, you can see this piece of wood here is see-through. Now it's not. So that really makes those knots come in the, and those little areas here really look three-dimensional because it really covers the picture there. I mean, that is just great. And then if you really want, you can go up here and change the opacity back down if you want it to be a little bit softer or a little bit stronger, you know, not completely harsh, whatever you want. Um, you know, I'm going to bring it to about, I don't know, 75%. That looks pretty good. Anyway, that's how we bring the wood slats above the photo and cut the photo off because the wood is behind here this wood and this wood but what's left is these slats the layer of the slats right in front that's this layer here without those that layer everything looks kind of washed out 
see that as soon as we turn the layer on boom it just makes it all stark and nice anyway that's your mini quick tutorial on how to make those wood slats stand out uh, this is rich calling it quits for this uh, tutorial saying over and out